As you can see, I'm playing Roblox on my Spook Chromebook right now. In this video, I'm going to show you seven different methods how you can play Roblox on your Spook Chromebook. Let's get right into it. How to play Roblox on your school Chromebook in 2025 unblocked. This is method number one. For this method, you're going to go to your browser, click on the search engine, and you're going to type in GD7PLA. Before we continue, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Also comment down if any of these work for you. Now let's get right back. I said dot B L O G S P O T dot C O M slash two zero two five slash zero three slash R one dot H HTML. You're going to press enter and wait for the page to load. Great. Now you're going to scroll down. You're going to copy this link, open a new tab, and you're going to paste it there. And you're going to press enter. Now you're going to go to the search bar and you're going to type in R O B L O X. That's Roblox. And you're going to hit enter. Great. Now you're going to click on the Roblox. Now don't click on play on browser just yet. I repeat, do not click on play on browser just yet. Go ahead and click on the login button at the bottom hand side. Now you can go ahead and log in with your email or you can go ahead and log in with your Google account. Now I'm going to log in and I'll see you guys on the other side of my screen. Great. Now once you've signed in, just go ahead and click on the play on browser now. Now this you load pretty quickly and finish very fast. Great. Now once on the screen, you can go ahead and sign in or sign up. It's up to you. Go ahead and do that and I'll see you guys on the other side of my screen. Now, once you've logged in, there are some crucial things you need to know. Now, as you can see at the bottom hand side, there is a ping. It says 307. This is your ping. And then it also gives you a timer for how long you can play this game. Now, also, you can click the return button to leave this whole place. You could also go ahead and click on the volume control to change your volume. I'm going to keep this off. I don't need that. And you can go ahead and change this to high quality. Now, I'm going to keep it on ultimate because I like the best graphics. Now, you could also go ahead and change this controls. Go ahead and click on that to change it. And you could also go ahead and click on add to desktop so that this can be kept on your desktop. Stop. This is really important and very good for us. Now, as you can see, I have it as a desktop app, which is very good news for us. Now, from this point onwards, you can go ahead and log into a game. So, I'm going to get into a game and show you guys how this actually works. Now, here's Roblox working on my Chromebook. How to play Roblox in your school Chromebook in 2025 unblocked. This is method number two. For this method, you're going to click on your browser and on the search engine, you're going to type gd7playz.blogspot.com slash 2025 slash 03 slash edu.html. Great. Now this site comes up. You need to scroll down and copy this link and open a new tab and paste it there. Press enter and wait for the site to load. Now you can either create your account or sign in. I'm going to sign in and I'm going to see you on the other side of my screen. Great. Now as you can see, I'm on the Roblox homepage. This is exactly how it would look like on the app. As you can see, there's so many different functions here. There's button to go back. There's start recording. If you want to save some of your gameplay, there's mouse sensitivity. I like to put this at high because I noticed that my cursor was very slow there. There's game controls, which uh, I think you should know if you play Roblox. There is volume button where you can slide this up or down. And there's also on screen keyboard in case your keyboard doesn't work. Great. Now I'm going to click on this game. This is my favorite game and I'm going to show you how this works. As you can see, the game is working really, really well. I am able to move really properly and that's how you can play Roblox here. How to play Roblox on your school Chromebook in 2025 unblocked. This is method number three. So for this method, you're going to go to your Chrome and you're going to go to the search bar and type in gd7playz.blogspot.com slash 2025-03-gg.html. You're going to hit enter and wait for the page to load. Then you're going to scroll down and copy this link, open a new tab and paste it. Great. Now, once you're on the website, you're going to go to the search box and type in R-O-B-L-O-X. That's Roblox and you're going to click on the Roblox icon. Great. The game is launching now. Now you can either create your account or sign in. I'm going to sign in and I'm going to see you on the other side of my screen. Great. Now, as you can see, I'm on the Roblox homepage. This is exactly how it would look like on the app. As you can see, there's so many different functions here. There's button to go back. There's start recording. If you want to save some of your gameplay, there's mouse sensitivity. I like to put this at high because 
I noticed that my cursor was very slow there. There's game controls, which uh, I think you should know if you play Roblox. There is volume button, you can slide this up or down. And there's also on-screen keyboard in case your keyboard doesn't work. Great. Now I'm going to click on this game. This is my favorite game and I'm going to show you how this works. As you can see, the game is working really, really well. I am able to move really properly and that's how you can play Roblox here. You may face troubles if you're not from the US. So if you're not from the US, then watch the next segment because that will make it very clear for you. How to play Roblox on your school Chromebook in 2025 Unblocked. This section is for people who live outside of the US and are trying to access Roblox but are unable to because of some errors. I'm going to teach you how you can do this by using a simple VPN which is very easy to add. You're going to go to your browser and you're going to type in G-O-O-G-L-E space W-E-B-S-T-O-R-E and you're going to hit enter. Great. Now you're going to click on it and you're going to search V-E-E-P-N and you're going to click on that. Great. Now you can see the button that says add to Chrome. You're going to click on add to Chrome and wait for it to download. Now once that it's been downloaded you're going to go ahead and click on the puzzle type icon on the top right. Now since you see the VPN you're going to click on it. You're going to click on continue start and no thanks and you will see this. Now instead of Netherlands you're going to go and click on USA. You can choose any of the regions. And you're going to click on the power button that turns the VPN on. Great. Now once that is done, you're going to, to go to the search bar and type in gd7playz.blogspot.com slash 2025 slash 03 slash You're going to hit enter and wait for the page to load. Then you're going to scroll down and copy this link open a new tab and paste it. Great. Now once you're on the website, you're going to go to the search box and type in R-O-B-L-O-X, that's Roblox, and you're going to click on the Roblox icon. Great, the game is launching now. Now you can either create your account or sign in. I'm going to sign in and I'm going to see you on the other side of my screen. Great, now as you can see, I'm on the Roblox homepage. This is exactly how it would look like on the app. As you can see, there's so many different functions here. There's button to go back. There's start recording. If you want to save some of your gameplay, there's mouse sensitivity. I like to put this at high because I noticed that my cursor was very slow there. There's game controls, which uh, I think you should know if you play Roblox. There is volume button. You can slide this up or down. And there's also on screen keyboard in case your keyboard doesn't work. Great. Now I'm going to click on this game. This is my favorite game and I'm going to show you how this works. As you can see, the game is working really, really well. I am able to move really properly and that's how you can play Roblox here. How to play Roblox on your school homework in 2025 on block. This is method number four. For this method, you're going to go to your browser and you're going to click on the search engine and type in gd 7 playz dot blogspot dot com slash 2025 slash 03 slash ms dot html. Now this will take you to this website where you're going to scroll down until you see this link. You're going to copy it, open a new browser and paste it and press enter. This may seem like a lot of process but now it's over. Now you can either create your account or sign in. I'm going to sign in and I'm going to see you on the other side of my screen. Great. Now as you can see I'm on the Roblox homepage. This is exactly how it would look like on the app. As you can see, there's so many different functions here. There's button to go back. There's start recording. If you want to save some of your gameplay, there's mouse sensitivity. I like to put this at high because I noticed that my cursor was very slow there. There's game controls, which uh, I think you should know if you play Roblox. There's volume button. You can slide this up or down. And there's also on-screen keyboard in case your keyboard doesn't work. Great. Now I'm going to click on this game. This is my favorite game and I'm going to show you how this works. 
As you can see, the game is working really, really well. I am able to move really properly. How to play Roblox on your school Chromebook in 2025 on block. This is method number five. For this method, you're going to go to your browser and you're going to type in gd7playz.blogspot.com slash 2025 slash 03 slash sslb.html. You're going to hit enter and wait for the page to load. Great. Now you're going to scroll down and you're going to copy this link, open a new tab and paste it. Now you can either create your account or sign in. I'm going to sign in and I'm going to see you on the other side of my screen. Great. Now as you can see, I'm on the Roblox homepage. This is exactly how it would look like on the app. As you can see, there's so many different functions here. There's button to go back. There's start recording. If you want to save some of your gameplay, there's mouse sensitivity. I like to put this at high because I noticed that my cursor was very slow there. There's game controls, which uh, I think you should know if you play Roblox. There is volume button where you can slide this up or down. And there's also on screen keyboard in case your keyboard doesn't work. Great. Now I'm going to click on this game. This is my favorite game and I'm going to show you how this works. As you can see, the game is working really, really well. I am able to move really properly. How to play Roblox on your school Chromebook in 2025 on blog. This is method number six. For this method, you're going to go to your browser. On the search engine, you're going to type in gd7playz.blogsvot.com slash 2025 slash 03 slash y9.html and you're going to hit enter. Great. Now on this website, you're going to scroll down and you're going to copy this link, open a new tab and paste it there and you're going to hit enter. Now this may seem like a lot of steps but don't worry, it's over now. Here's Roblox, as you can see, you can click on that and then wait for that to load. Now once you're here, you can go ahead and click on play now and then you can wait for that to load as well. And so as you can see, it's logged here into a new system and then it's loading Roblox in the top right hand side. The background should be back here really quickly and then it should get you going. As you can see, Roblox is now loading up with the keys at the side, just like the previous ones. And then all we have to do is wait for it to log us in. And then as you can see here, we've been logged into Roblox and we can choose any game and continue playing. How to play Roblox on your school Chromebook in 2025 unblocked. This is method number seven. Click on your Google Chrome browser at the bottom side here. Now, once you click on that, Go ahead and type APK space mirror and then hit enter. Now make sure you click on the link that says www.apkmirror.com and that's the first one in my link so I'll click on that. Now once it loads up you want to navigate to the search bar at the top here and type in Roblox. Once done hit enter. Now as you can see it shows us the different versions of Roblox and the updates over time. However the latest one for me is on November 10th. So choose the latest one for you and then click on the download button at the right hand side. Once done we want to scroll down. Now as you can see there are two versions here. There's the bundle and then there is the APK and Ash fonts. We want to go ahead and select the APK in Ash fonts right here. Now click on that one and wait for it to load. Now once here as you can see it says download APK. Now I want to go ahead and click on the download APK button right here. Now once we select that it's going to load us into our files. We want to go ahead and save this to our downloads so we're going to click on save. Now all we have to do is wait for it to finish downloading and then we can proceed. Now once you're done downloading the file just go ahead and click the folder icon at the bottom here and then go ahead and click on downloads at the left hand side. Now go ahead and right click the Roblox folder and then click on rename. Now what we want to do is hit backspace leaving just the dot apk there and then we want to type Roblox. So at the end of the day we should have roblox.apk now hit enter and then it should be renamed now once you're done go ahead and right click this and then click on copy now you want to go ahead and select the linux files on the left hand side once you select that go back in here right click and then click paste now once we're done with this we can move on to the next step now hit the set bar and type in settings once in settings click on advanced and then scroll down and click on developers now turn on your linux development environment and once the screen or the interface pops up go ahead and click on next now feel free to change your linux development environment name to whatever you please and go ahead and customize the size of your linux development environment i'll leave mine at 20 because i use linux a lot and then i'll hit install now all you have to do is wait for the linux terminal to finish installing now go ahead and click on your launcher and type in settings once done click on enter 
now once it loads up go ahead and click on advanced scroll all the way down to developers and then click on your linux development environment now look for develop android apps now some of your chromebooks might not have this because it does not support it but if your chromebook supports it it should have it so go ahead and click on it and make sure to enable adb debugging it's going to ask you to restart and continue so just make sure to do that and then once you're done you can continue the video now copy the link down in the description to go to my website once you're at the website go ahead and copy the first code which says check debian version all right click this into your terminal and hit enter now anything from 10 to 12 should be fine anything below 10 i have never tried and anything above 12 i don't think exists so make sure you're within the range from 10 to 12. now once you're done with that go ahead and type in sudo apt hyphen get install android hyphen tools and then hyphen adb and then hit enter now once you're done with that it's going to ask if everything is done mine is already installed so there's no need for me to do anything again however you might have to hit y and hit enter for yours now once you're done with that go ahead and type in adb and then click connect space 100 dot one one five dot ninety two dot two and then you have to bring a colon and then you bring five 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 four fives and then you hit enter now for some of you this might not work and for others this might work but you want to go ahead and allow the usb debugging click on ok now once you're done it says started successfully now for those that it says fail to authenticate as you can see down here you can go ahead and type in adb starts space space starts server hyphen server and then hit enter for this it should start everything perfect now once you're done you want to go ahead and type in adb install and then you want to bring the columns and then you want to type in the file name that we just did type in roblox and then do dot apk and then bring the next column the reason why i let us type the codes is because it might be different for each and every one go ahead and hit enter and then wait for it to say now as you can see here it says arrow more than one device slash emulator and that is why i put the arrow quotes down here most of you might be getting different errors and different you know results that's why i put these errors here so that you guys can learn from them now as you can see my error says that more than one emulator and it's the same thing here so i'm going to copy this code right here to solve my problem i'm going to copy it and then i'll paste it right in my terminal now once again you want to go ahead and change the file name to roblox because that is what you've been asked to do and then hit enter and then wait for it to finish downloading now it says performance stream install all we have to do is wait for it to finish now once it says success go to the bottom left corner and click on the launcher and then click on roblox our roblox is loading on my chromebook and it's going to ask me to sign in or log in so i'm going to log in and then i'll see you guys on the other side now once i'm done logging in it should bring me to the home page now feel free to select any game to play and enjoy we've come to the end of our video don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and join our discord the link is in the description if you want to learn how to get roblox studio on your school chromebook then click on the video on the screen otherwise peace out